everybody, this is Katie from Tropical Looms, and today I'll be showing you how to create this really cool cinnamon braid bracelet. This bracelet is an original design and it's reversible, so it has a little zigzag pattern on the back. And um, this is this one was actually made on two looms. This one was made on one. I'll show you some other ones. Like other ones. Um, so this one was made on So this one was made with the mixed marble bands that are limited edition. This one was made with the firework bands, and I've made one of this one, so made even more of the one I'm showing you. And my personal favorite, which was made, again made on two looms, this one is So anyways, let's get started with the tutorial. So today you'll need any type of loom. Today I'll be using a rainbow loom and um, I'll be using a hook. I'll be Today I'll be using a rainbow loom brand, metal tip hook, one seat clip, and I recommend using two colors of bands to get the full braided effect. So today I'll be using Caribbean Green and Spearmint Sweets. So anyways, let's get started. Before we get started with the bracelet though, I just want to warn you, when you're not using limited edition bands, your bands um, can get twisted. You can see. I recommend when you take this bracelet off, you be really careful taking it off because if you don't take it off correctly, then your bracelet will look really gross. And I don't have the bracelet with me right now, but it looked really ugly, and that's actually the first one I made. So anyways, let's get started with the bracelet. So your loom should be like this, with the red arrow pointing away from you. And what you're first gonna do is, if you're doing the, like the one color, like, the bracelet, okay, there we go. If you want, go for the look with one color on one side and one color on the other side. Just the instructions. What you're first going to do is you're going to grab a spear of sweets. And you're basically just placing a zigzag alternating colors. And you're just going to do this all the way up your loom. I'm going to go off camera to finish the length of my bracelet. Sorry I meant to say the length of my loom. So when you're done placing the bands, your loom should look like this. And now what you're going to do is you're going to flip your loom around. And now you're just going to place a cap band. I'll be using this camera. So. Now what you're going to do is you're going to grab your hook. I'm gonna push back the cap band, grab this band, and not hook it to this pin, but to this pin. Right. I always get confused with this part. I'm so sorry. You're gonna hook it over here. I am thinking on my wave braid bracelet. I'm so sorry. Okay, they can see the wave braid. If you're wondering, I didn't just make that bracelet, I actually made it like low one or two. And yeah. So you're basically just making a little braid. It's a double braid bracelet by, um, what's the name of the channel? Um, uh, Allie's Bracelets, that's what it was. You're basically just doing this, and now I'm gonna go off camera. So when you're finished, your loom should look like this. And then now there are two bands at the top. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna push back these two bands, grab this band, get here, and then just hook this band to the center. You're gonna put your hook through all the bands and you're going to grab 
rubber band. came out pretty nice you can see and if if you have any twists on the back like some of the bands are twisted like this you can just do this but let me first but let's first make an extension and then I'll show you how to do looks a lot more crisp and clean now that it did that. And now on the other end there's the cap band. So you're just going to get the C clip and clip it. And there you have it, your cinnamon braid bracelet. So thank you so much for watching this tutorial. I really hope you like this bracelet as much as I do because I personally love it. Please give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe down below. And um, I will see you in my next video. And if you have any suggestions for like tutorials or like any type of video, then just comment. Cause I'm not getting I'm not getting sick of rainbow loom. I'm just saying like if you have any suggestions, just comment. So, anyways, thank you for watching this tutorial.